Hello everybody, welcome to this week's devotions. Um, I always get an itchy nose when I start talking to you, I don't know why that is. Anyway, never mind. Um, good morning, welcome. Uh, now what I'm going to do this week, I'm not following the lectionary this week, but what I am going to do is talk about what I am doing with um, Orkley at the moment. And so for Orkley, every week I send out a, a, an email, um, kind of a thought for the day service type thing. It's much shorter than a normal service would be. Um, and we followed a theme. We had already started before lockdown following the theme of uh, the seven I am's. So we did all of them. Then we did Bible Month with Ruth and now we're starting a new theme and our theme this time is the fruit of the Spirit. Now you find uh, the list of the fruit of the Spirit in Galatians and it's in Galatians chapter 5 verses 22 and 23 and this is what it says. The fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness and self-control. Against such things, there is no law. So that was Galatians chapter 5, verses 22 and 23. And if you look at the longer passage there, if you look from verse 16 to verse 26, you will see that it's couched in um, a longer passage which Paul talks about the differences of being in the spirit and not in the spirit. What are the fruits of being in the spirit? And what's the fruit of not being in the spirit? I've got into gardening a bit this year, well, last year really, um, and I have been growing uh, flowers and um, I've got some tomatoes and some strawberries and I've been given some Jerusalem artichoke to, to grow as well. So I'm looking forward to seeing how that goes. Um, but if I plant a strawberry plant, I don't expect raspberries to come off it. If I plant Jerusalem artichokes, I don't expect to dig up potatoes. We have the fruit of the Spirit. If we are in the Spirit of God, our fruit should be love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness, faithfulness and self-control. There are nine fruits. <laughs> Work out how many is nine. <laughs> oh my goodness. Nine fruits of the Spirit. I always remember it because I learnt a little song when I was a child, um, which I won't sing to you now. I was nearly going to sing it then, but I won't. Um, anyway, and I have that song going through my head when I have to remember them. So I've got my little fruit bowl here. And you might think that to have the fruit of the spirit, like you might have a grape is faithfulness. And a banana could represent self-control and whatever. That's not actually what it's about because the fruit of the spirit is actually singular and it's one fruit with different parts so it's a bit like these are supposed to be easy peelers because i knew that i'd end up doing this um oh smell of an orange when you you know when you first crack into an orange oh the spray comes out lovely handsome right well, I'm just peeling this. So this is going to be like an example of the fruit of the spirit. Why is fruit of the spirit more like an orange than an apple? I hear you cry. You know, if you were going to be in a service with me, you would actually be saying that, then, don't you? Put that there so you can see my bowl of fruit. Because this is an orange. This is the fruit of the spirit. But... Now, if you've seen me do a wedding illustration, you'll have seen me do this with a chocolate orange. But I don't like chocolate oranges, so I'm going to buy one just for this because I don't like them. Um, it's the only sort of chocolate I don't really like. But there are different parts, OK, different segments. We call them pasties in our family because, look, they're kind of like pasty shaped, aren't they? Yeah. Use your imagination, please. So that could be uh, love, joy, peace, patience and, and so on around. So when we talk about the fruit of the spirit, we cannot say my fruit is self-control. I mean, we all know that my fruit isn't self-control, but we can't say my fruit is self-control. If I have the fruit of the spirit, I should have all of them. Now, that becomes a bit more of a challenge for me. 
and I suspect because we're all human probably for you too because we are not good at all of the fruits and certainly not all the fruits at the same time you know the patience or the self-control or the joy or the love or the kindness or the whatever it might be we struggle with some more than others at some times more than others but this should be the fruit that people see from us they should see us displaying love joy peace patience kindness goodness gentleness and self-control the other list that paul gives lists off a, 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 a group of attributes that would not say christ to you perhaps we need a bit more watering perhaps we need a bit more nourishment perhaps we need um, to read our bibles more to be in uh, to pray more to study god's word to take action um, for him and to encourage our fruit to grow to ripeness let's pray together Lord God, help us all to be bursting with the fruit of your spirit. So give us your spirit, Lord. We cannot do it by ourselves. And in doing, and as you give us your spirit, may we represent your love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness and self-control so that others around will look at us and see but, and say, by your fruit, I can recognise you are Christ-like. You have the fruit of the Holy Spirit in you. Lord, help us to be your example in that way. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, God bless you and keep you. Make his face to shine on you, be gracious to you and give you his peace. And I will see you next time. Bye bye.